Grandma, I did not steal your ottoman. Oh, hi. Welcome back to the Opaco Lips. Welcome back to Cooking COVID Style. I'm Krusty Rusty. First name Krusty, last name Rusty. Today we will be cooking up some of my great 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 grandmother's recipe for y'all today. Now, first thing you want is a pot. Found this here beauty in the dunk. And uh, all the ingredients I will list for you now. Be back in a flash. We'll just let that dangle. Next, you're gonna want to get your ingredients and begin. I already placed my first cup of dirt in this pot. Next, we will place this other cup of dirt in the pot. Shake it out. Shake all of them quarantine -y feelings out. All right, next you wanna get this fresh cup of rainwater. Make sure it's fresh. There is no other way to do it. Ah. Also, make sure you grab your essentials on your way out. Ah. Tastes like supporting the economy. All right, so once we get those first few ingredients, the rainwater, the dirt, and the dirt in this here pot, you're going to want to start to stir it up. That's where this bad boy comes in. Now, I don't have electricity. We'll just say a prayer and go for it. Oh, looky there! It's all just combined. Now, the, we're going to add, add, add. Where are my words today? Sangria time! Next, we're going to add our last and final cup of dirt. Now, this one you're just going to sift in. Oh, my. Little in the hand, over the shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Little good luck. <laughs> We're going to just sprinkle that in. Sprinkle it in. All right. Now you're just going to quick mix that in. Oh, yeah. Nice and chunky. Oh, no. A little taste. All right. Once that's nice and combined and you've given this to your dog or your child or grandma. Want to taste grandma? Then you add the pot that gives it delicioso flavor. The final good step is first off the grass. A little is never enough. I stole this from my neighbor. Take your spoon and just give that a light twirl. Just a light twirl like when you did ballet when you were two. Tap tap. Tapping into my future potential. Also some of these herbs which I also stole from my neighbor. And I just crumple those in and this will give it that fresh extra something. Finally, the part that gives it the apple muffin apple part. You're going to take three apples, these bad boys right here. These are the only ones I could find during this time of crisis. But you know, you, you work with what you can. Just find what you find. If you find a few shriveled apricots, those will not work. So just Oh, hmm, 18 second rule. All right, and just swirl those suckers in. Ooh, forgot one. Swirl them suckers in. Ah. All right, so just take that into the pot. Give it a good sniff. Smells about right. Hi, friends. So finally, we're going to take this lovely mixture, and if yours looks something like this texture, you're right on the money. Now, you'll take one of your mixing spoons, 
reduce, reuse, recycle this bad boy. Scoop in about mm, a knuckle size scoop. This is the knuckle of a four year old. And we'll just scoop it into our nice fresh pan. I found this pan outside last year. Oop, this one got an apple. Somebody got an apple. They're gonna be a lucky dog tomorrow. <laughs> and you just scoop it in till it feels right. Just whatever amount feels good. This will make anywhere from two to 18, five, depending on your portions. All right, so we're just gonna mix this here up and we'll just quick fill these in. All right, now that these are officially perfect and ready to go, we will put them out in the sun for about six hours. I'll be back. Hi friends. So after putting them out in the sun to bake, clearing your station, and after hunting down a cat for dinner, it's sangria time, boys. Get out your finest wine glass and your mixture a la alcohol. And just start adding your favorite powders and things. Also some leftovers from the muffins will work. Give that a good start. And pour it in. This is my favorite part. Ah, mm, smells like teen spirit. So while you wait for your muffins to bake, just sip on this and ponder life. Ah, oh, divine. And don't forget to leave plenty for your guests when they come to eat the muffins. I will be eating them alone, so you know what that means. More for me. <clears throat> Plus, if someone's standing six feet away from you, you're not going to be able to reach them. Sorry, what? You wanted more? <laughs> Whoops. Mm. Uh, oh, something feels real weird. Oh. All right, let's go check on our muffins. Glory be and hallelujah do these look fine like Tom Cruise in the 90s. Carefully dispense the muffins onto a plate. Oh, there's the apple one, saving that for me. Ooh, this one's got a lot of grass. Don't let anybody tell you these are not healthy. My goodness. Ooh, doggy. These will make for a fine luncheon. I'ma dig into one right now. Grab a tester, grab your sangria, and get your muffins ready, folks. Thank you for joining today's COVID cook-off with your host, Krusty Rusty. First name Krusty, last name Rusty. And as I always say, bone appetite, y'all. Unfollow. Oh, hi. It's your friend, Krusty Rusty, on her computer. If you want to find me online, just go to crustyrusty.gov.com.ww.org. Or if you want to find me on Instagram, it's at I did not evade my taxes this year underscore. I'll see you on the net and the interwebs. Oh, Jimmy Dean sausage. <laughs>